Hello. Today we're reading Last Stop on Market Street. And after this, we're going to listen to some music. And while I play music, you are going to draw. So you'll need markers. You can use your markers that are taped together if you still have them like that from last week. You can use crayons or pencils or anything else you want. You'll have your paper ready, and your marker ready, but first we're going to listen and look. Last stop on Market Street. Words by Matt De La Pena. Pictures by Christian Robinson. For Luna and her two grandmas, Ronnie and Grace, M. De La P. For Nana, C. R. So the, the people who made the book dedicated it to their grandmas. CJ pushed through the church doors, skipped down the steps. The outside air smelled like freedom, but it also smelled like rain, which freckled CJ's shirt and dripped down his nose. There's CJ, he's coming down the stairs. We ducked under Nana's umbrella, saying, he ducked under his Nana's umbrella, saying, how come we got to get wait for the bus in all this wet? Trees get thirsty too, his Nana told him. Don't you see that big one drinking through a straw? CJ looked for a long time, but he never saw a straw. Can you see the way Christian Robinson made the puddles? First, there's a collage piece of the Nana and CJ, and then there's a drawing of the same colors of their clothing in the bottom to make it look like a puddle. From the bus stop, he watched the water pool on flower petals. He watched the rain patter against the windshield of a nearby car. His friend Colby climbed in, gave CJ a wave, and drove off with his dad. Nana, how come we don't got a car? There goes CJ. Bye. Boy, what do we need a car for? We got a bus that breathes fire and old Mr. Dennis who always has a trick for you. The bus creaked to a stop in front of them. It sighed and sighed as the door swung open. There's the bus. That must be the dragon breathing fire. I know some of us really want to ride on the bus now these days, huh? Or I haven't gotten to in a while. What's that I see? Mr. Dennis asked. He pulled a coin from behind CJ's ear, placed it in his palm. Nana laughed her deep laugh and pushed CJ along. Oh, it's a magic trick. They sat right up front. The man across the way was tuning a guitar and an old woman with curlers had butterflies in a jar. Nana gave everyone a big, great big smile and said, good afternoon and she made sure that CJ did the same. She says hello to everyone on the bus. I bet you guys do that too when you get on your bus, right? Hello, oh, and here's the one with the guitar, and here are the butterflies in the jar. The bus lurched forward and stopped, lurched forward and stopped. Nana hummed as she knit. How come we always gotta go here after church, CJ said. Miguel and Colby never have to go anywhere. I feel sorry for those boys, she told him. They'll never get a chance to meet Bobo or the sunglass man. And I hear Trixie got herself a brand new hat. CJ stared out the window, feeling sorry for himself. He watched cars zip by on either side, and he watched a group of boys hop curves on bikes. A man climbed aboard with a spotted dog. CJ gave up his seat. How come that man can't see? Boy, what do you know about seeing? Nana told him. Some people watch the world with their ears. That's a fact, their noses too, the man said, sniffing the air. 
That's a mighty fine perfume you're wearing today, ma'am. Nana squeezed the man's hand and laughed her deep laugh. And there's the man, he has a stick also that helps him when he walks and he also has his dog. Two older boys got on next. CJ watched as they moved on by and stood in the back. Sure wish I had one of those, he said. Nana sat down her knitting. What for? You've got the real life thing sitting across from you. Why don't you ask the man if he'll play us a song? CJ didn't have to. The guitar player was already plucking strings and beginning to sing. To feel the magic of the music, the blind man whispered, I like to close my eyes. Nana closed hers too. So did CJ and the spotted dog. And in the darkness, the rhythm lifted CJ out of the bus and out of the busy city. He saw sunset colors swirling over crashing waves, saw a family of hawks slicing through the sky, saw the old woman's butterflies dancing free in the light of the moon. CJ's chest grew full and he was lost in the sound and the sound gave him the feeling of magic. So this is the page that we're gonna think about when we make our, make our art, right? Because this is the feeling that CJ was having when he was listening. The song ended and CJ opened his eyes. Everyone on the bus clapped, even the boys in back. Nana glanced at the coin in CJ's palm. CJ dropped it in the man's hat. Last stop on Market Street, Mr. Dennis called. <phone rings> CJ looked around as he stepped off the bus, crumbling sidewalks and broken down doors, graffiti tagged windows and boarded up stores. He reached for Nana's hand. How come it's always so dirty over here? She smiled and pointed to the sky. Sometimes when you're surrounded by dirt, CJ, you're a better witness for what's beautiful. These birds remind me of the bird collages that we made. And Christian Robinson also, all of this is collage plus paint on top of collage, right? CJ saw the perfect rainbow arcing over their soup kitchen. He wondered how his Nana always found beautiful where he never even thought to look. He looked all around them again, at the bus rounding the corner out of sight, at the broken street lamps still lit up bright, at the stray cat shadows moving across the wall. When he spotted their familiar faces in the window, he said, I'm glad we came. He thought his Nana might laugh, her deep laugh, but she didn't. She patted him on the head and told him, me too, CJ, now come on. And where are they? All the people are eating food and they're at a soup kitchen and CJ and Nana and other people are wearing things on their heads to keep the hair from going in the food and they're helping serve the food to the people who come. I wonder if you've ever done that before, or if you knew about that. And so, here at the end, then they get back on, they come back and they get in their bus stop to wait for the bus to go back. Okay, so we've reached the end of the story, and I wonder what your favorite part was. I like the part when they talk about the things that the people have. You know, she has her knitting and he has his dog and here's the butterflies in the jar and here's the telephone, right? But today we're gonna think about this idea of closing our eyes to feel the magic of the music. I like to close my eyes. Well, we're gonna feel the magic of the music but we'll probably keep our eyes open because we want to make art, but you can make art with your eyes closed too. So either way, so I'm going to leave it on this page and I'm going to play a few different kinds of music for you. 
So get your pens or pencils or markers ready. And we're gonna start with guitar. <laughs> music. Now I wonder if you made big marks or wavy marks or these kind of marks. I don't know. Okay, we're going to try another kind of music now. It's kind of like a steel drum.
last one. Let's see. I wonder if you're going to use a different color or a different piece of paper, or if you're going to keep working on your same page. I wonder if your page has any shapes like this, or if your page has lines or zigzags. All right, this is our last one. today I think and if you want to continue you can always go have play some music of your own or you can rewind the video a bit and play the music again and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day thank you very much